Joining us now, Texas Congressman Roger Williams. Uh, as offensive as hey that, uh, Congressman, great to see you. As offensive as that ad yeah. is, it, it seems to suggest that for the Kamala campaign to lie this brazenly and then to cement those lies in a television ad, they know this issue is a real loser for them. Now, they're worried about losing the election, but not worried enough to actually change policy. Well, I mean, th this ad she's put out is ridiculous. I mean, look, here's a woman that went to, uh, only place she's been at the border is a parking lot in El Paso. Uh, she's called ICE agents the KKK. Uh, she's never been friend of the Border Patrol. She said that the border is secure. So you're right. I mean, they're just trying to win an election, but everything she said is a lie. And if she believes what she's talking about, why don't they go ahead and do it? I mean, if she, if she believes it, why didn't she do what the Border Patrol said and 70 percent of the crossings could be eliminated if President Biden would just initiate a stay in Mexico policy again? So she, she could do that right now if they really care about it. But we don't need to be waiting for her to do what she thinks she ought to do. If she believes it, do it now. But it's a joke. It's ridiculous. It's a lie. Well, to that point, Roger, it's not like she doesn't have any power, right? She is the vice president who is also the border czar. And you're right. Right, she could go like, what did Donald Trump actually do to secure the border? Maybe I'll mimic what Trump did and secure the border, too. She's done none of those things. She actually was part of the team that undid all the security measures that Trump had in place that opened the border up and allowed millions of people co to come into this country illegally. Well, she, she has done all that. And like I say, like we just said, she could do one thing. She could uh, tell, uh, let's go back to, to stay in Mexico policy and eliminate 70 percent of the border crossings and show she's doing it. But Sean and, and, and Dagan, they're not interested in doing this. They don't care about borders. They don't care about sovereignty. They're for open borders. We know why they're doing it. So they mm -hmm. create new election, new electors, they think. But I mean, this is what we're going to be looking at the next several days and weeks before the election is just nothing but lies and knowing they're wrong on the issues, just trying to use the opposite to win and then go back to a serious situation where we'll have no control of the borders and 20 million people to be here. As offensive as it is when you talk about uh, what did the, the ad say, cracking down on fentanyl and human trafficking. The, Kamala Harris and Biden laid the foundation for people to profit from suffering, misery, and death. And they've stood by and watched hundreds of thousands of people die from fentanyl poisoning and haven't given a damn. And now she's talking about doing something. But how do you, as a Republican and the entire party, fight back on these lies? Well, I think what you have to do, you have to fight back hard. You have to do exactly what we talked about when President Trump uh, was president with the border has never been more secure. What did we do? We put the wall up. It worked. What did we do? We had stay in Mexico policy again. We put more judges down there to uh, to, to to turn people around so they could have their due process and send them back and don't give them court dates when they're already in the states. Give them court dates when they're when they're still in Mexico. And look at member Title 42 took care of the asylum seekers. All that works. And then remind people in the world we're a land of law. We want you to realize the American dream, but you come through the ports of entry, not between. And then you go after these drug dealers. The drug dealers are running everything down there. We're losing 100,000 kids. You know the numbers from fentanyl. Fentanyl come from China to Mexico, Mexico yep. to here. Mm -hmm. And you eliminate the drug dealers. And you do that, you get control of the border. Roger Williams, one of the largest uh, Texas car dealers, a congressional baseball <laughs> legend, and a common sense member from Texas. Thanks for being with us on The Bottom Line. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Congressman. Thank you, guys. God bless.